Hello everybody, uh, today I'm going to show you a way to make the uh, any door in the ship a mo motion sensor along with being uh, a door that won't open automatically when there's water detected. So what that's going to do is uh, normal gameplay, you can open the door no matter what you do. Anybody gets near it and it opens as any motion sensor door would. But if one side of the door, specifically the side with the motion sensor, however you set it up, is flooded, the door that it's connected to won't open automatically. Uh, there's a variety of reasons a person would want this. Uh, mostly in our games, it has been, let's say this room right here, which doesn't have a motion sensor, but let's say this room right here on the Orca 2, I believe this is, maybe it's the regular Orca, uh, gets flooded. If somebody on this side were to be like, let's say, going down here or something, the door would open as you're going down to get something else taken care of. All the water would flood out, and you don't always want that. Like, let's say this is flooded, has enemies in it. You don't want somebody just getting near it and then opens the enemies, attack all the people on the guns. Or the people on the guns get pushed off with the water. Uh, I think enemies is a bigger concern, but water is also not something you want free-flowing through your ship. So the way that we do this is uh, the motion sensor that, well, in this room you'll get it and then I'll explain it. So you want the motion sensor, or sorry, water sensor, uh, going to the aura component uh, uh, signal in one. And then from the uh, aura component, you want the signal out of this going to your not component signal in. Then on the not component, you want it going to the and component signal in one. And on the end component, and this is more of the important thing you need to do, is you need to make this false output blank. So it'll default to zero, you just need to delete it. Then from here, you go to the motion sensor that you want and for the door you want. Do the signal out of the motion sensor. Go back to your and component and do it into signal two. And then the signal out of the end component you want going from the signal out and you want it going to the door set state. So what this loop does is the door opens automatically. Again, let's say I'm on this gun, this room is flooding, there's an enemy in there or something and he's trying to beat the door down. If I go to get, and like you can change the motion sensor, but like let's say I just, I don't know it's flooded and I just need to go in there to do something like I'm a mechanic. I'll try going in there, the door will open automatically. You don't want that all the time. So what will happen with the way that we have this set up is I'll go flood the room. So what's happening here is the water detector always sends a signal when it's being uh, flooded to the uh, duct or whatever you have attached to it to get the water out. What this loop is doing is it's going through the loop, going back to the door being like, hey, both of these things are happening. We need to disable the motion sensor because it's flooding. So let's finish flooding the room. And what will happen is I go to the door, it won't open automatically anymore. But if you want to, you can manually open it still to go through and do whatever you want. And the way the ships are default done on these, they always close automatically. So there's an invisible relay up here that you just can't see uh, that's making the door close automatically, uh, which is one of these end components. I already forgot which one I added to it. Uh, and it's uh, just built into almost every ship. So when I open this door, all the water were flooded. So like this whole room was flooded, but I wasn't doing it when I came through this door. So that's about it for this one. Uh, a thing to note, because this is the thing I forgot and I kept on fucking it up, is the motion sensor needs to be added to the end component. So the uh, water detector and the motion sensor are basically competing. So if both happen at the same time, the door won't open automatically. Uh, if you have your doors previously set up into a very basic uh, into a very basic motion sensor, which is state out, set state, 
and then it opens if you get near it. If you have that already previously set, uh, which is one of the first things I do on most ships uh, when I don't do this, uh, if you do that, it breaks this entire cycle because you have two uh, motion sensors trying to affect the door at the same time, and it doesn't work. So don't do, if you have this set, take it off, and then do the or and not. Uh, the easiest way to do it that I find is typically you can just cut any floor around the area that you're in. Or every every engineer or mechanic has their own way they want to do it. Typically, just for simplicity's sake and what I remember, I put it in a floor or a ceiling right next to the door. Uh, so if I ever want to mess with it, I won't need to remember where I put it. I can just be like, oh shit, it's there. Uh, or if you forget, you can put on the electrician's goggles and then it'll show you where the signal's going, then you can break it. All right, that'll be it for this video, so I'll end it here. Uh, if anybody has any ideas of something I've not shown before or has any questions on how to do a specific thing, if I don't know it, I'll figure it out and then I'll make a video of it and maybe just comment to you directly being like, hey, I did the video, here it is, or I'll do a quick write-up. But I don't know. I find it easier to look at it and learn, and that's how I work for me, is I can look at things, I can mess with it, but if I just read it, sometimes it's hard to do if I'm not watching step by step. All right, see you guys.